welcome back to my channel how are you guys i hope all of you are doing well it has definitely been a long time since i last made an air fryer video on my channel but i am back today i will be making air fryer chicken drumsticks um, as you can see this is the bag of drumsticks that i got i got this from walmart it is a five pound bag and it was pretty cheap guys i think i paid like maybe five dollars for it i definitely didn't pay any more than six dollars um, i made this for the fourth of july and people ran through it so i'm gonna cook them in the air fryer and i will show you guys that process um, but i'm actually going to finish them off on an indoor slash outdoor grill that i have um, that's actually the way that i did it for the fourth of july just for a little bit of color and some grill flavor um, so yeah guys i hope you enjoy this video let's get started with the ingredients now let me just say from the get-go you do not have to use all of these seasonings that i have here on my table so don't get intimidated by all of the different seasonings here because um, definitely you don't have to use all of these. Um, just use your favorite seasonings that you like to use when you make your favorite chicken recipe. The barbecue sauce, and you definitely can make your own, but this is my favorite. I like the Sweet Baby Ray's, the hickory brown sugar. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of ranch, the dry ranch powder, some accent, um, some oregano, lemon pepper, paprika and then I have the sasson right there I don't always use that but I do have it on hand so I'm going to throw it in today for some color and additional flavor we also have paprika some garlic powder onion powder that is one of my all-time favorite seasonings I normally put onion powder in pretty much everything that I cook I'm going to use some complete seasoning we're definitely going to use this sweet and smoky uh, rub from grill mates because we do want it to have like a smoky grill flavor um, then I'm going to use a little bit of Italian seasoning got some cayenne pepper for heat because the people that I'm making it for um, we do like a little bit of spice but you can always omit that of course I have some poultry seasoning there obey seasoning and then i have my misto olive oil spray and then there's a brush for when we do the barbecue sauce and again this is a five pound bag i'm gonna have to do two runs in my air fryer because you really don't want to overcrowd it all right guys so the next thing i'm going to do is wash my chicken so stay tuned all right guys so we are going to go ahead and clean the chicken i am just gonna dump this bag in the sink and again this is a five pound bag of chicken legs um, normally when I clean my chicken I use some vinegar I am actually out of white vinegar today this is cold water um, make sure you're using cold water you don't want to use warm water when you're cleaning your your meat so I'm just gonna add a little bit of table salt this is the salt that I use for like cleaning my chicken or salting the noodles when I make like pasta dishes. I don't normally cook with that type of salt, but I do um, use it for other things. So again, if I had some white vinegar, I would definitely be using the white vinegar to clean this chicken, but I don't have it. So just put a little bit of salt in the water. The salt um, won't add any type of flavor or it won't make your chicken salty because you're really not putting that much in there. But um, what it does is it acts as an abrasive to kind of clean the chicken. Um, I am going to let this sit in here for probably about 15 minutes. All right, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and pat dry the chicken legs. I took them out of the sink I rinse them off um, so I would say that it is really important that you try to dry these off as best as you can uh, the less moisture the better because we are going to cook these so that they're crispy well I like mine's crispy so the plan is to cook them so they're crispy so you want as less moisture as possible and so I'm actually going to spread these out on um, a different sheet so that I could season them. 
So the legs that's on this side of the pan, those are a little bit bigger. They have a little bit more meat on them than the ones that's over here. So again, I am going to cook these in two different batches in the air fryer, of course. So also, this is a mixture of the seasonings. I just put them all in a, a little bowl here. I'm gonna mix them up. And again, guys, you don't have to use the ones that I'm using. Um, that's just kind of how I do things. But whatever you like to put on your chicken, that's what you wanna go ahead and use. So I'm gonna go ahead and season these up. Actually, before I do that, before I forget, this is the olive oil. And I wanna go ahead and spray it because I want the seasonings to stick to the meat. So I'm just gonna spray that. And that is just a little canister that I put olive oil in and it's pressurized so it turns into a spray. Actually with that guys, it is way less calories than using you know, the olive oil straight out of the jar or the bottle. So that's just kind of a tip. So yeah, I am going to put this on here as much as I like. Um, in your case, you'll put as much as you like. I like to taste my seasonings in my food. So um, I am probably gonna go a little heavier on the seasoning. So I will say that when I made these for the 4th of July, I did season these and I let it sit overnight. I highly, highly recommend you guys, if you can't season it and let it sit overnight, just go ahead and season it and let it sit in the refrigerator for at least a couple hours because that's how you're gonna get the best flavor. So I do recommend that. And again, I seasoned it overnight. So the flavor on these chicken legs were really, really good. So if you can do that, great, do it overnight. If not, then just a couple hours, um, that would also be helpful as well. So I'm just kind of patting this in here, as you can see, because I want that seasoning to get all under the skin and in the meat. So now I'm gonna flip this over and I'm gonna start seasoning the other side. And again, just like I did this first side, I'm gonna go ahead and spray it with the olive oil. And I don't know if you guys can see it from the angle that you're watching this video, but some of these legs have feathers on it. So typically when you're washing your chicken, if the feathers bother you, like this has some here, um, you could go ahead and remove those during that time. I typically like to just pull them off. And the weird thing is I really didn't really see them when I was washing the chicken. But um, you can pull them off or some people actually burn them off. I don't do all of that. I just go ahead and I pull them off. So I'm gonna spray this again to make sure. So the olive oil is actually for two things. One, I am using this to make sure that my seasonings adhere to the meat so that's the first reason and then the second reason if you want a crispy leg or you like crispy wings um, in the air fryer I feel like it is extremely important to use some type of oil in spray form um, now I'm using extra virgin olive oil but you can use whatever you like canola oil you know um, you can also use the the store brought spray oils that I used to use but ever since I found this one, I really don't use that anymore. I just put my olive oil in here and you can put whatever type of oil in here as well. But my preference is olive oil for the fat content, the healthy fats that I'm looking for. But that is definitely key to getting crispy chicken is to make sure you're spraying it. And you're gonna see in the video that throughout the process, I'm actually gonna spray it even when it's cooking a couple times because again, I like for mines to be crispy. Uh, another thing I should say with the seasonings, if you notice, I didn't have any salt out when I was showing you guys uh, what I use as far as the seasonings. Um, I did show you the salt when I was cleaning the chicken, but when I cook, I am pretty much using most of the time uh, a pink Himalayan salt or a sea salt, something like that. Um, that is just my preference. For those of you who don't know, I actually went to culinary school a couple years ago. It's actually been quite a while ago, but I only went for like one semester. Um, and I just remember 
my culinary arts teacher telling me we do not use just regular you know table salt when we are seasoning our food and so for some reason that just kind of stuck with me so i typically again don't use table salt you know for for seasoning but i'm not knocking it and if that's what you like to use that's what you like to use it's going to give you the salty flavor but i do find that there's supposed to be some health benefits in the pink himalayan salt so i do use that but i also just like um the flavor of different types of salts i also use kosher salt sometimes um, so it's totally your preference. So yeah, so um, with that being said, you won't see me really adding any salt into this little mixture that I made because a lot of the season is already have salt and I don't want it to be salty, but when this chicken is done, if I feel like it needs more salt, then at that time, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll add it in. So I recommend that you do the same thing. All right guys, so we are getting ready to get to the best part of the video. We're gonna go ahead and get the air fryer preheated and ready to go. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and cut the air fryer on and I am going to definitely preheat it. Um, if you've watched any of my videos, then you know that I do recommend preheating your air fryer when you cook in it. Um, I'm gonna hit one of the presets here and that one is for the wings. And then I'm gonna hit start. And then it's gonna go ahead and preheat. It normally preheats for about five minutes and then it's gonna beep and let you know that it's time for you to put your food in. And so I will be back when it's time to do that. Okay, so now it is telling me to add the food. I'm gonna go ahead and add in the chicken legs. hear that sizzle and honestly for me it doesn't matter like what side you put it down on because I am going to be flipping these around um, a couple different times because again I like for my chicken to be crispy so I'm gonna be flipping them around um, a couple times and you'll see that so yeah so I hope you guys have been doing well uh, like I said in the beginning, it's been about three months, unfortunately, since I made a YouTube video. But I've had a couple people, you know, asking me, when are you going to make another YouTube video and what are you going to make next? So guys, honestly, when it comes to YouTube, I decided to make my YouTube channel just out of what I could say necessity and just kind of needing something to do to kind of keep me focused or whatever and I've always liked to cook so definitely um you know this is something that has always been something that I like to do so I will say that this is probably going to be enough two four six we got six in here you don't want to overcrowd the basket if there was um a negative that I do have about I should say this particular air fryer and a lot of other models as well is that you really can't get a lot of food in the basket at once so we're just gonna go with these six legs and then we will do the rest of them or I will cook the rest of them off of off camera so I'm gonna spray it once again just because again I like for this to be crispy all right, so um, when I hit the preset, it actually automatically took it to 400 degrees. But what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna take the temperature down. I'm actually gonna take the temperature down to 375 for right now. Okay, and I'm just gonna go ahead and let that run. When it's about halfway there, then I'll probably go ahead and turn over the legs. And so I will come back and you guys will be able to see that. Okay, so we are about halfway there. I am going to open it up so you guys can see what it's looking like after about 12 minutes. Oh my goodness, look at that. This is about 12 minutes on the first side. So what I am going to do is, I think I'm going to go ahead and turn them. And they're not sticking because we sprayed the chicken and also this is actually non-stick you guys forgive me because I am recording with one hand and I actually was thinking about doing a voiceover guys but I haven't talked to you guys in so long because I haven't recorded 
and God knows when that um, I decided I, I was not going to do much editing on this video and that I was not going to do a voiceover. I hope everybody is doing well. Um, I don't know where you guys live, so I'm going to go ahead and spray that again. But in the state of Washington, oh my God, just a couple weeks ago, we definitely had a heat wave. We actually had to go to a hotel for a couple days because the great state of Washington, most homes do not have AC. So yeah, we got up to about almost 111 degrees in Seattle and it was terrible guys. It was terrible and my mom has some health issues so she just could not stand the heat. So I hope wherever you are, you're nice and cool. So we're going to go ahead and put this back in and let it go for the next 12 minutes. And I come back when the 12 minutes is up. I'm going to turn it again and I'm going to spray it again and I'm going to bump that temperature up to 400 degrees. All right, guys. Beep All right, back. guys. So it is about to beep. It has cooked for 24 minutes. Let's see what the second side is looking like. Oh, my Lord. Do you guys hear that sizzle? Oh, my gosh. Do you hear it? This is what the air fryer can do. Oh, my Lord. All right. So, I am going to flip it over one more time. Look at that meat, guys. Look at that. It's starting to fall and come away from the bone. Oh, my goodness. This is going to be so good. All right. So, I am flipping it over. I think I'm going to put my... I think I'm gonna put my phone, my camera on um, the tripod for the next shot. Cause doing this with one hand, cause I'm, I've been out of practice, it's a little bit complicated. So I think I need my second hand. There we go. Um, Yeah, look at that guys. Oh my gosh. If you guys have a thermometer, a meat thermometer, I, I do recommend that you use that. If you have one, please do. Please make sure that you use a meat thermometer and I will put um, the degrees in which legs should be done somewhere in this video. All right, so I flipped them over. Let's see what this is looking like. I'm going to see if I can get a, a better shot. Look at that. 24 minutes. 24 minutes in the air fryer. Alright guys, I want to show you my indoor-outdoor grill. This is the grill pan here, and this is by Chefman. Uh, the name is kind of coming off a little bit. I got this from Target. It actually was only about 40 bucks. This is the knob here. I actually turn it all the way up to high. And... The pan right here this comes out and you'll put a little bit of water in it I'm just gonna put just a little bit of water in there just a little bit because if you don't you um you risk the chances of it burning okay so we're gonna let this get hot so this is the chefman grill it's non-stick it is very easy to clean which is a plus and you actually can use it indoor or outdoor and I find that it works really well outdoor all right guys I'm gonna let that heat up and we're gonna go and check in on our air fryer so we have about four or five minutes left I think that is enough time let's take a look <gasps> Woo -hoo -hoo! look at that OMG look at that can you guys hear the sizzle the sizzle sizzle oh my god look at that all right so because we're gonna put this on the grill for a little bit I'm gonna go ahead and take them out and we're gonna get ready to transfer these babies it's sticking just a little bit but that's okay we're gonna transfer these babies out to the grill sticking just a little bit and I'm gonna pull that off I'm actually gonna taste this again if you have a thermometer please check and make sure that your meat is done all right so they are so they 
are I'm gonna eat that little piece right there this is what they look like we about to hit them with the sweet baby rays mm, that flavor is so good oh my gosh all right we about to go ahead and hit these on the grill with the sweet baby rays and i'm gonna throw the second batch in oh my god i'm so excited i can't wait to eat this i also made some pasta look at this air fryer nice and crispy all right we about to hit it on the grill okay right guys, so i don't know if you can see that this is actually smoking nice and hot so just gonna spray it with some olive oil remember we put that water in that pan because we don't want it to burn and so now we're gonna go ahead and add the chicken legs it's kind of loud out here so I apologize in advance for that but we're gonna go ahead and lay it on there and the doneness of your chicken leg should be between 170 to 175 degrees Fahrenheit so you definitely want to make sure you take the temperature of that um, yeah I will say that these legs are pretty much done so we just gonna put a little bit of sauce on it this is the sweet baby rays so we're really not cooking this for doneness because they're done we just want some color we want some color and it's beautiful outside so why not grill my actual uh gas grill unfortunately went up on me uh, i think it was like memorial day it went up on me so that's why i'm not using that but look guys the air fryer has cooked this pretty much all the way you can see the meat is pulling away from the bone look at that oh my god look at that girl look at that oh my goodness it's hot out here so i'm not going to be out here too long but this is just um to get some color on it i'm gonna flip it around you can see girl guys this grill pan it actually works again this is the chefman brand from target and i want to say i only paid about no more than 50 bucks for it if that much but it does the job for the 4th of July I actually cooked my whole meal on here all the burgers all the hot dogs the chicken I finished off the ribs on here so this is just to give it some extra flavor Look at that. Uh, I really, I recommend this uh, grill pan. I really recommend this grill pan. Again, I got it from Target. It's the Chefman brand. That's the name of it. Indoor, outdoor grill. It's about 50 bucks. And it is amazing. It is amazing. Look at that. Already got grill lines on there from that barbecue sauce that sugar is starting to caramelize already look at that look at that chicken just fell off the bone look at that you gotta be kidding me all right guys my phone is getting hot i'm gonna go ahead and take this off the grill look at this amazing
this Harilla protein pina pasta. This is my first time using this. And actually, it, it actually tastes pretty good. So it has 10 grams of protein and a little less carbs than regular pasta. But, um, and it also has some fiber in there. So if you see this, I got this from Walmart. My daughter actually brought it the first time. Um, but I like it. So guys, this is my dinner. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will talk to you guys later. So I want you guys to see what this chicken looks like. It is fully done. Remember you want your dark meat to get to about 170 to 175 degrees. Look how it just came off. I'm using one hand guys with my fork. Look how it just came off. The bone. Mm. Oh my god. So, so good. Nice and hot. It is totally done. Can you guys see the steam coming from there? Look, if you don't have an air fryer, what are you doing? Really, what are you doing? Go ahead and get your air fryer. They are pretty reasonable. Mm. Especially for what it can allow you to do. So this that pasta I was telling y'all about. I'm going to taste this. It is the pine, Barilla pine. And it, it is the protein pasta. Was tasting like I put some mozzarella and some um, sharp cheddar. Guys, it legit tastes like regular pasta. It's good. So if you are, you know, trying to get more protein in, this is definitely a good way to sneak some in, and it's actually really good. So. Again, I want to thank you guys for joining me. Look at that. Nice and juicy. High thin, steaming hot. Guys, go on and get an air fryer. All right, y'all. I'm gone for real this time. Thank y'all so much for all the love and your support. So, don't forget to check out some more of my other videos, guys. And continue to comment and subscribe. Mm. Okay, I gotta go. Bye.